Hi guys, just a quick one today, uh, talking about the Camus Quick Release. So this is the Quick Release that comes with the Camus, and um, this is the, the wheel side bit. So if you buy their button plate, you'll get this button plate, it comes with this Quick Release, and then this piece here for the base side. Um, if you buy just the wheel base, it won't come with this at all, and you just add your own Quick Release. But uh, you may be tempted to go down this route and get their, um, you know, their setup, because it does pass through. You can see there's a pass through on the back and then electronics there, the wires, and then pins, that goes on there. So there's no kind of external um, USB cable going to the wheelbase to control the buttons. It's simply all through the steering column. So it's very much a convenience. But if you want to then add on your own wheel rims, because you can do, you can add whatever you like onto it. Um, and then you'll, of course, use another one of these quick releases. And you may be tempted to buy one of these off-the-shelf sort of D-spec uh, D1 spec style ones which looks like it will fit and I'll show you it doesn't because it all lines up the actual the actual ball bearings here are the same and it even fits on the top the same until you get to a certain part of it which uh, um, so you can see it does go to the top but it doesn't connect uh, which is a bit of a shame because there's a slight difference and um, in, in the shape of this piece here so you might be able to see it, I don't know, but it's this ridge here. It's different to the one on there. It looks like there's a ridge, but it's not quite the same, so it doesn't line up. So if I put on the original one, the Camus one, um, you can see it going on and it all kind of connected uh, just fine. So uh, just, uh, line it up. You can see it's on there, it's all solid, absolutely fine. No problems whatsoever. So let me just remove this and try my D1 spec and uh, before that I just want to show you this how it lines up because again this is why it will fool you initially so we just put that on there and if I rotate it the ball bearing indent, indents for where it indexes these parts here it looks the same so it all looks like it's measured to the same uh, standard but it's just this piece here doesn't work on it so let me just put this on I'll just show you where it just basically binds and that's as far as it goes. So you can see it's not going down. There's this gap here. It won't go down any further. So what you could do as an alternative is if you did buy this, you can swap, effectively swap this piece here for that piece there, because this all screws off. You can see the top piece there. It's screw holes and it's got the same kind of holes here. So you don't have to drill anything more. It just fits in because essentially it's all the same shape and uh, and fittings until you get to this piece here, which is kind of annoying. So you can do it. I'm going to link to a video from Douglas Thompson because he shows you how to, he swaps it around with like a cheaper eBay sort of version of this quick release. And um, and if you are to like expand your wheel, your wheel collection, then you're going to want to buy more of these, you know, these quick releases and it can get quite expensive. You can buy Camus's one and they're not like overly expensive, but it's, you know, if you're going to have a large wheel collection, then it's far cheaper to then swap the whole thing out and, you know, buy those eBay ones or, you know, this D1, uh, D1 spec one is quite expensive. Um, so, but you can get these alternative um, eBay ones and it just shows you that they are actually pretty good as well because Douglas shows how firm they are and it looks like they're fine. So you could do that. An alternative though, um, but it depends on how far ahead you look, is you can take this thing off completely or if you just buy the wheelbase, it won't have this piece on there. And just let me just show you what it looks like underneath. Um, I have removed some of the screws just to make it a bit easier for this part. It does come with six screws. Um, But if I take this off, you can just see. Uh, you can see. It, you can see how it is. Because it's always good to plan ahead if you are going to be investing in a wheelbase, because you know, it's these periphery things, these extras that can add up over time. And a quick release is definitely something which can be quite expensive. You know, you add three or four wheel rims onto your selection. You know, you can add you know a couple of extra hundred pounds onto just onto the quick release system itself. You know, so it can get quite pricey. Um, you know, so if you if you work ahead, then you know you should be fine. So uh, this is obviously stuff I've learned from my own experiences, guys. Um, an alternative would be something like this. So I have reviewed this. This is from AliExpress. It's a Q1R style quick release. It's not compatible with the Q1R, but it's a very good quick release system, and um, actually quite quite inexpensive. So this would be a good one to go for if you want to go for a third party and just you know do something separate. You know, to just do something different than what Camus offers. So let me just pull this off and I'll just show you there's a wire that goes in there so you just unplug it 
and uh, you might be able to shove that kind of wire down into there. Looks like there's a cavity enough to put down there. Uh, but another way, if you're kind of a bit scared about that, is you know you can freely print a, a spacer or just get a spacer like this. This is a, uh, I think a 10 mil spacer I've printed here. And you can just put that on there and obviously put your quick release on top of that. And then you've got a cavity, a gap where that wire and that kind of uh, little connect a bit will just sit in there and you know not bother anybody so yeah there's ways to do it if you're kind of worried about that just use a little spacer and then you can go down a, a different route with a um you know with a, with a different quick release system so yeah that's the way to do it so if you're thinking about buying this yeah think ahead you know it's useful to know these sort of things guys you know sort of uh, plan ahead and you can save some money down the line uh but there you go guys more videos on the camus dd coming up very soon so stay tuned subscribe and uh, drop comments below the video and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy and bye bye.